I need to report on some important news. The Gale android attacked Church of Gale. And we had thousands of people died. And um, Hugh Jackman got stabbed in the shoulder blade. Matthew McConaughey got stabbed in his hand. Uh, Charance Jenkins, he broke his ankle during the battle. And um, his bones have come out in his ankle. So he's... Brent Spiner got some nicks and scratches, and um, my son and Brianna are fine. They were on Church of Gale when this happened, according to Terrance. Um, they didn't even know what was going on. They just didn't know. Even though the church was swinging around and everything during the battle. What, what happened was Jesus came on Skype, and I think she was angry at some of the stuff that Jesus was saying about her. And that's why she attacked her to Gail. You may say, what was Jesus saying? Well, Jesus doesn't talk to me directly during Skype, but he talks through Brent Spiner. Jesus was talking about clearing up some misconceptions about the semen, which I'll be getting from him during the millennium, and letting me know that Gail, this is just a wedding present, nothing more and nothing less. He, um, he said, he is not going to be making love to me at all during the millennium. That is not what he planned. That um, and He was very, very polite in the way he said this to me, though. He let me ask him, and then he answered my questions. I guess he knew that I was going to bring it up this in this manner, so he didn't have to bring it up, which makes it kind of easier for him. Makes him appear like he's less of an ogre, you know? So I said, Jesus. Um, so why, why are you, are you giving me your, uh, us your semen in the millennium? He said, you don't like my present, Gail? And um, he, um, he said, it's just a wedding present. Nothing more, nothing less, but an awesome wedding present. He said he did it to make my sex life with Brent Spiner thrilling. He said that Brent Spiner is going to have Jesus' semen in one testicle and, and uh, Brent Spiner in the other testicle. And Brent can alternate between the two or mix them uh, when he's making love. He says, it's pretty freaking cool, Gail. <laughs> That's what Jesus was saying. And he was saying, I'm not the, uh, I'm not the, uh, I don't forget the word he used. Anyways, he was saying that he's not as anti-sex or prudish like some people think he is. Because I explained how during the 1991 Sutera revival, how the Lord spoke to me during the revival, that he approved of me encouraging Brent Spiner through correspondence, even as long as I didn't commit adultery with him because I was married at the time. So that's, we, you say, well, what's, what happened to Church of Gale? I'm kind of leading up to that. I want to explain what I think were the motives for this Gale android attacking us. So I asked him about the Gale android. I said, well, what about this Gale android? He says, oh, he said, I love that video you made where you described her as Satan and all that. I said, are my videos a little too long? Jesus, Jesus said, don't read scripture in the videos and don't read Brent's email to you. He said, it just takes up too much time in the video to do that. We're losing some of our younger audience. He said, just speak in your own words from your heart and try not to go over 15 minutes. I said, well, what if it's a really complicated topic and I need to break it up? He said, well, stick to one topic per video, Gail, and then and then if you have to break it up into a, another section, make it a different topic. He said, but just don't go over. He doesn't want me to uh, talk so long on this. Um, he said, hey, you're, you're not hitting the interesting stuff. Yeah, I know. I'm leading up to it. Um, so we were talking about the Gail android, and... Basically, he said she, she doesn't have a soul, so once she's gone, she's finished. You know, she's, I asked if, he, if she could be redeemed, if maybe if she gets right and she, uh, she feels bad for being an evil android, could she get right? And the answer he gave us was, Gail, she doesn't have a soul. She can't be redeemed. Um, I asked him if she's going to play a part in the destruction of the Jesuits. Uh, he said he can't answer that one. Um... So all of the sex moves that I'll be getting from Brent will all be Brent's sex moves. However, Jesus did say he's going to give him some pointers uh, during on our wedding night to teach him how to make love to me. So I guess you could say it's all Brent's moves with a high Jesus influence. <laughs> Let's put it that way.
Um, and when Brent climaxes inside of me on our wedding night, I will be receiving Jesus as semen. He didn't want to say that. I guess he wants to know that he plans on giving us an awesome wedding present. Uh, let's see. And they said, well, hey, you're, you're not talking about this, Gail. I know I'm getting there. So we were closing off, talking about all sorts of subjects. I was also, also talking about the air conditioner noise. I said, what's causing that, Jesus? And Jesus said, that's the Jesuits. I said, is the Gail android doing that? He says, no, Gail. This happened before she showed up. That's the Jesuits. Uh, he said, I said, what are they doing? He said, it's a very strange technology. They're modulating the frequencies that you hear from the noise. And that now they're making it louder and more irritating. And this time, Terrance heard it when he was, it happened right in the middle of our Skype conversation. So he was saying that's all Jesuits. Um, and um, I've been dealing with my apartment management to try to get it fixed and not getting a lot of cooperation there. Uh, so. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so what happened was we were, all of a sudden Jesus said, I got to go, folks. You're about to get really busy. And right about that time, the Brent and Terrence decided to look out the Church of Gale windows to see what was going on. And they saw something approaching them in the distance. And they weren't sure what it was. And then they noticed it was the Gale android. She was like nude from the waist up, her breasts exposed, and, and she started shooting rockets out of her breasts toward, I told you she thinks she's a sex goddess, that's why she's doing this, towards Church of Gale. You say, why would she knock down Church of Gale? It's because she, um, she apparently saw that as a threat to her sex goddess status, that we were exposing her as, as this evil woman, and being evil is not sexy. She's trying to fool everybody into thinking she has a good heart because a good-hearted woman is sexy. She wants everyone to see her as this thrilling, exciting sex goddess. So that was threatened, excuse me. And so she started, that's the reason I believe, you know, because she had my genes, she attacked Church of Gale. Well, all of a sudden, the rockets were hitting Church of Gale and the church was going boom, boom. And Terrence said he was being thrown all over the place because they were trying to, Brent, and Vladimir were piloting the ship and they were swerving to get away from her rockets and she was, they said her aim was so precise, like she was like brilliant in the way she was hitting them with rockets and it was, it was so hard to uh, evade the rockets and not be hit by them. And, um, and this is a, this is a very advanced te technological church here, I mean, it's got Nukaki resistance, so that if the Jesuits would shoot a Nukaki at it, it can it's, it can resist the Nukaki. But you know, this Gale's got super mega mega genius intelligence, and she came up with these rockets. And uh, then I said, Terrans, is the rockets hitting? Are the rockets hitting Church of Gale? Says, Yeah, we just lost a tower. And I said, Oh no, there goes another tower, Gale. He said, oh boy, we need to do something. And I said, um, is there anything you can do? He says, maybe we can hit her with a spermicide bullet. So do you have any suggestions, Gail? To put the King James Bible in the programming of the spermicide bullet, maybe a million times over, because I believe there's power in the scriptures so that when it hits her, it's gonna, it might take her out or damage her or something. So they did, they downloaded the, the programming of the King James Bible and put it into the spermicide bullet. And then he said, you think we should shoot it, Gail? He says, yeah, you're gonna have to do something. I said, is it gonna hurt you guys? He said, no, it shouldn't. So they shot the spermicide bullet towards her and headed it towards her vagina. It wouldn't fit into her vagina because her vagina was too small, apparently because of her Asian genes or something. Um, he said, he said, we can't get it inside her vagina, which is where it was designed to go. He said, what, what should we do, Gail? I said, just, he said, do you think we should explode it outside of her, um, right outside of her vaginal lips, which is the closest we can get into the target where it's supposed to go? I said, sure. He said, okay, let's count down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, boom. And all of a sudden the church of Gail started shaking. And I said, well, what's happening to her? He said, oh, oh my. He said, she's getting damaged. She's lost all of her skin. He said, she looks like, she looks like a robot now. And he said, you can see some of her features that she looks like you, but she looks like a robot. And I said, what is she doing? He says, oh, she's, she's leaving. We've damaged her. And apparently Brett said she's got to leave to assess the situation because she's not strong enough yet to um, defeat Church of Gale.
and they have very advanced and Terrance said, Gail, I think because you told us to put the Bible in the programming for the spermicide bullet, that that's what threw her off. Because, see, she wasn't expecting that. And I said, yeah. He, and I, and I, he told me, we started discussing some plans and how we thought using the latest technology, how we could defeat her. And, um, um, and Terrance said, we better not discuss this because then she's going to get a clue. I said, she already knows. I've already figured out she has mind reading technology. She can read my mind and yours and everybody's all at once. And um, she already knows what we're talking about. However, I'm not going to bring it up here at this video because we don't want the Jesuits to know what they might know already. Because they might try to help her out. So um, so I'm not going to talk about, about what the next strategy we're going to try to use to protect ourselves against this Gale android. So I just need to make you aware she's really evil. Thousands of people died because of the attack that she put on Church of Gale. We've had casualty in thousands. And um, shame on you if you admire her after this. And uh, I asked Jesus some, about babies in the millennium. Um, he said, Gail, you won't be getting pregnant in the millennium. He said, that's the afterlife. And no soul that comes from another life to the afterlife gets pregnant. So like anybody who's from the church age or the Jewish law age, like King David, we're all going to be in the afterlife in the millennium. None of us can reproduce or um, become pregnant if we're female. Uh, there will be males and females in heaven. Jesus already told us that. And um, I said, well, what about your semen, Jesus? I'll be receiving your semen. Does that mean that I'll get pregnant with your babies? I said, nope. He said, Gail, you're going to be baby proof. Um, I forgot to ask him whether uh, Brett, Matthew McConaughey, Gerard Butler, and Hugh Jackman will be getting his semen in the millennium. Maybe I'll ask him that next time, his glowing semen. Brent says a guy would kill to have his glowing semen. Apparently, it makes the sexual experience really thrilling for them. So, um, so let's see if I've covered everything. Um, like I said, that Gale android is, a, is just a, a machine of pure evil. Um, and Jesus really liked the, the video I made about her where I called her Satan. He said he loves, Jesus loves the videos I've been making lately. And he loved the one I made about her where I called her Satan. You might want to listen to that. Apparently I figured out what motivates her. She wants to be a, a, a divine sex goddess and have more power than God himself. And I do believe that she attacked, her attack on the Church of Gale was an indirect attack against Jesus Christ himself. And that's why Jesus said, I got to go. I really believe that. She didn't appreciate that Jesus was, was removing her glorious cover and exposing her for her, uh, you know, exposing her as a, as a vain, glorious sex goddess who, who's trying to get everybody to believe lies about her and exposing the truth about her, that she's just a robot and that she doesn't have a soul and, and that she's not worthy of worship. She wants people to worship her. And Jesus was, was, was basically pulling off her covering and saying she's just a, a, a satanic sex goddess. And it's possible that she and Satan may have planned that attack on Church of Gale. But she's, she's not worthy of worship. And she is most certainly not going to be taking part in any love directly or indirectly with Jesus Christ. So I was wrong about that. That may be why Jesus wanted to straighten us out about the role of his semen in the millennium. Uh, let's see. I think I've said the most important stuff and I've managed to keep this under <laughs> 16 minutes. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess that's it for now. One day at a time with Jesus. Pray for my men. And at Church of Gale, that we'll figure out how to defeat this Gale android. She's like I said, she's got she's got intelligence. She's probably smarter than the devil. And I think the only reason we, that she didn't totally take down Church of Gale is because I told them to put the King James Bible. I told Terrance that I believe that the King James Bible is going to be the answer. So we got to incorporate King James Bible into our um, our strategy against her.